a single phosphorus 32 nucleus can be produced when a single sulfur 32 nucleus joins with particle X. So, uh, sulfur and particle X uh, join to give uh, phosphorus 32. In the process, proton is also embedded. So, we'll have uh, proton as one of the uh, products as well. So, proton is this. What is particle X? We have to deduce what X is. So, uh, proton number of sulfur is uh, 16 and uh, phosphorus is 15. So, uh, what we have is uh sulfur joining with particle x uh, we'll just write it x uh, in the process proton is emitted and uh, phosphorus 32 nucleus is also there phosphorus 32 proton number 15 and proton proton is this uh, which is also the hydrogen hydrogen ion h plus ion now uh, all we have to do is balance the number of nucleons and number of protons to deduce x uh, we have uh, 32 nucleons on reactant side excluding X and 33 nucleons on products. So uh, we need to have uh, one only one nucleon on X. Uh, we'll just write it X uh, as we haven't deduced what it is. And uh, the total number of protons are 16 and 15 plus 1 16. So X should have uh, zero protons because only zero proton helps us balance uh, total number of uh, 16 protons on both reactant and product side. So uh, X would have zero protons and one nucleon or one neutron. So X will definitely not be deuteron. Deuteron has uh, two nucleon and one proton. Uh, electron is uh, zero nucleon minus one proton. Definitely not B. Neutron is uh, zero, zero. No, no. 1 0 obviously there will be one nucleon sorry about that uh, so we have is x as one nucleon and zero proton so uh, it should be c uh, the correct answer should be c uh, option number d is uh, proton proton is one proton and one nucleon so uh, d is also not the correct answer x is uh, x has one nucleon and zero protons uh, neutron also has one nucleon and zero protons so choice number c is the correct answer